And, um, you know, when it all went down, um, it was suggested to me several times, actually, quite forcefully, you know, well, of course you're going to have to cancel the tour. And um, although on the day it happened, about a thousand things um, went through my mind, that was not one of them. And the reason was that, um, that Ian was the original Mr. Show Must Go On. You know, and uh, I'm, I'm in no doubt what his opinion would have been, you know, about these circumstances. He was an amazing guy, you know, really, uh, um, he was an archetypal mod, actually, and what we used to call a groover, you know, <laughs> a, kind of an archaic expression uh, nowadays, but that's what he was. And um, uh, he was a great musician and a great believer in the power of, um, of music. And, uh, but even more than that, he had this incredible gift to be able to spread uh, goodwill around and, and uh, make people, well, just cheer them up and make them feel good about themselves. I wouldn't be at all surprised if there's aren't one or two of you in this uh, room who uh, attest, uh, can testify to that because he was very affable and always liked to meet, um, you know, meet uh, members of the public and fans of, uh, of his. Um, but anyway, uh, it's it's really to that to the memory of his ability to do that. It's a great gift that we will well, we are and we will continue to uh, fulfil all of these dates that we were booked into because we want to try and spread a bit of his fairy dust about. And the way I see it is, if we can't have him in person, we'll try our best to have him in spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's enough.